rubber band methods quick and easy hairstyle hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel how are you all doing today i will be showing you how to achieve this very easy hairstyle that looks so beautiful <laughs> Without wasting any of your time, let's get straight to work. So the very first thing I did was I washed my daughter's hair and dried it. And I also made sure the hair was well combed. I come in with my comb and I just section her hair. Now I want to section this hair into two, front and back. But I thought of starting it in the middle so that I can be able to have the good section that I want. So this is a very easiest way. You can start from ear to ear, but if you have volume of hair like the one I'm working with right now, you can do it this way. I started from the middle, then halfway, and then I took it to her ear. Just watch and see the way I'm doing it here. The same part I'm playing here, that's what I'm gonna do on the other part of her hair. Now this made me to come up with a result that I desire. This is dividing her hair into two, like sectioning it into a portion, half in front and half at the back of her hair. So I started from the middle just like I did. And I realized that this was quite easier than I thought. So if you are struggling to have a good sectioning, do it this way and you'll be able to have that ear to ear sectioning. Okay, now that I've sectioned her hair this way, I have to start doing the style I want to come out with. I have to control this little portion that I'm taking out. So, just watch. Because I'm using rubber band and I just feel like if I put some cornrows, it's going to have a beautiful style. You can do it without any cornrows. So, this was just to spice it up. So you just do some cornrows, but if you don't know how to cornrow, I also have a video on how to cornrow your own hair. I think if you watch the video, you will be able to understand it better. I will link it in the description box, the video I made on how to cornrow your own hair. I think the explanation they can guide you how to cornrow. But not to worry, if you don't know how to cornrow at all and you are not yet ready to learn, you can also use this style this pattern and do just the rubber band because I know rubber band has been saving lives okay so rubber band is way to go so if you don't know how to control and you're not ready to learn yet just go with the controls just let go the control sorry and when you pattern it this way just go on and put your rubber band I know it's quite hard at times to have rubber bands that can be long lasting. What you do, like what I did in this video, I had to double my rubber bands. The rubber bands are elastic, but then they are not that, uh, how can I say, the quality is not the best. I've not yet been able to lay hands on rubber bands that can last for three to four days. So what I did is I doubled the rubber bands, some to three, some to two. Now when you are putting rubber bands, you don't have to make it too tight. If you over rotate your rubber band, there is a possibility that your rubber bands can cut faster. So just watch and see the pattern I'm gonna follow. We do the cornrows first before we come in with the rubber bands. can see the cornrow is actually going so fast because I wasn't focusing on the cornrow because I already made a video a tutorial on how to do cornrow so like I said I will link it but I also I wondered if you noticed that her hair looks different from most of her video yeah her hair has been retouched she couldn't cope with the natural she couldn't go with the team natural but I didn't retouch it too much 
it is still very much more like natural that is just been treated so I realized that this natural journey is not for the faint in heart my daughter especially she doesn't uh, withstand her hair to be combed so I just said let me just relax it a little bit just so we can have an understanding when it comes to doing her hair so you see what I'm doing with the rubber bunch right yes the very first one needs to be as loose as possible because when you make it too tight if you have to take it to the next line that will be doing some harm to her scalp it's gonna hurt so immediately I put the rubber band to the last one I have to just twist it because I'll be working with the portion yeah you section each line into three you can decide to make it four depending on the volume of the you're working with but I think for this style three was just fine when I put rubber band I take it to the next section line and then I do it do you know if you don't know how to do cornrows and you want to for example do like crochet and you need cornrow hair you can use this method this method works just like cornrow but then you want to use rubbers make sure the rubbers are very solid before you can go on or you can use thread if you want to use it as cornrow so I just cornrow the back all the way up like I said this is a very easy hairstyle you can do this hairstyle in less than 20 minutes this is a quick hairstyle to take to school you know with our kids having natural hair or this type of hair when you leave their hair to go for two weeks they no longer look that good so with this you can take it as a weekly hairstyle you just change the pattern but keep using rubbers colorful rubbers at that and your kids will keep appearing looking clean and neat in school so i will be using this extension extra i got this extension from my country cameron so i'll be using this extension just to make it look more attractive but if your hair your child's hair is grown like good enough you can at this very portion let it be just add some accessories at the back and that would be fine but i thought adding some hair extension to it will bring out the style will take it will level it up okay so i just thought of using an extension to level up this hair style i hope you saw what i did i swapped the rubber that was there and i used this one that looks solid and then i'm just gonna wrap it i don't need you can braid the hair before putting on her hair but i just wanted to show you everything in detail so that you don't wonder how i did it and i'm using my best hair product that's the original uh, olive hair product that i got from miragon shop this hair product has been saving life i'm not sure i can actually do any hair without using this hair oil it's good it's like it saves a lot i use it on my hair I use it on my extension i use it on my wig and the hair oh god it smells so good so that even makes it even one of the reasons i'm so glued to this hair oil because it's the best okay so after after braiding it i just go and wrap it all around her hair now for the middle part i had to just make it a bit open so that it will cover the bone in the middle and if you realize i didn't control the extension too tight i didn't break the, the extension too tight make it loose and easy now if you want more accessories you can actually the one they use for weddings you know what i'm talking about right those round bit stuff you can just put it in the middle and step it up now you can actually style this hairstyle for a little bright you know not just um not just a uh, oh, oh, not just drumming it like we call it drumming back then you know not just pulling everything to the middle not just tying it as a bone but then just adding some spice to it okay i hope you have grabbed something actually because that's the goal just to like make it easier for you if you want to make your baby's hair look beautiful every morning 
this is one of the stars to add into your catalog and I bet you you're gonna love it at the back I just session four cornrows I just braided four cornrows you can see get that and the outcome was worth it like seriously the front the back the sides oh my god everything was so on point her smile oh my god <laughs> yeah just look at that look at that hairstyle it was a success okay i love the hairstyle it fits her so well that's the front view you can see the back the side view and that's the back view behind view thank you so much for watching